60 people have been killed. Have we found heaven When danger on lurks, trauma team will be there. Sign up for our platinum today. plan today. A wealth because of natural you're for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. Felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes, well, I've sent the final installment of your theme. Truly, I thank you once again. How did your personality fracture anyway, and why? Ah, that is the question. I'm looking into it, but still know little more than you do, I fear. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise. I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. How'd you wind up in Night City? I'm afraid my legal counsel has advised me not to answer questions of that nature. Ugh, didn't mean to put you in a tight spot. Mind telling me at least how you came to run a cab company? Ah, well that's no secret. I took over a failing business, implemented a sound strategy, and here I am now. Operating a fleet of taxis? Constant movement, adaptation, interesting characters. What could be better? Never really had a good chance to thank you for saving my skin. Well, of course. You're a valued member of the Excelsior package. Felt like more than a premium service to me. Thanks. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on gray matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? No, oh, the term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture, the structure of life and death here. In my opinion, it is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage, the ability to evolve quickly. That's your goal, then? To grow and evolve? The world is a process. You never drive on the same road twice. Pardon the expression. You and I, we too are processes. We change as the world around us does. Don't see you as an outsider at all. It delights me to hear a human say that. I've done my best to assimilate. Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal.
Send this up the ladder.
es el pasar por veteranos.
you sitting in the wrong spot. Uh, this this isn't a bar. It is, but it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. Hey, hey back off. Hey, you are busy. Bar. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. Really think you're fast enough with that blade? Really? The way I see it, be a smoking hole in your chest before your neurons even light up. But hey, nothing like a little experiment, right? Hey, come on, Pedro. Not worth it. No work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo. Fucking punk. What? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I, I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? You would have caught a beating. Worse. This fucking town, these people, just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in me. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you, then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you, V? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, Red. Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things. But with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Well, but today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh, hmm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. Ah, B. Anything interesting happening in the area? Interesting. 
around here. <laughs> Not one single thing. That's why the kids, they join gangs. No jobs, no future. And where they end up? Behind bars or in the ground. This neighborhood died a long time ago. Ever talk to Misty in the end? I did like you said. I invited her over for dinner. And? She's so skinny. Who would have thought? Know what she looks like. Not what I'm asking. Hmm. She's a little bit uh, eccentrica. Said my home sits on a natural energy source. But I think I know why, Jackie. She's a nice girl. We exchange numbers. How do you feel? I lost my son. How am I supposed to feel? I, I'm sorry, V. I shouldn't have. I, it's just when I see him that day in that limo, all covered in blood. You know what I wanted to say to him. Te metiste en una gran problema, Jackie Wells. As if he was 14 years old again, just coming home from a fight with the other kids. He's like my brain was trying to protect me. can't talk about this now, okay? Mierda. Look like a fat wallet, too. Eh, not the only color in town, man. CD bars, betrayal, a beguiling woman. Sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You got done? I'm trying to focus.
arrived on the scene looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. fucking puke. Narrate that. is already dirty enough. Seriously, what did I ever do to you? Again, something just drew me to her, like one magnet to another. Oh, stop. The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Is there a risk of food poison in here? That depends. If you keep it up with those kinds of questions, who knows? Nobody followed you.
husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know. I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh, I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I, I don't look anything like the old me. But why, why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom, because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but... There was never a good time, and... And now that I'm expecting again, it... No, it... it, it wasn't... It wasn't planned. Please, uh, tell him, tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just, just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted, every single last part of her. So, my son, that's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Her own husband, 10 fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever, it's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now?
Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally making some sense.
So, what's the latest buzz? You're the super aesthetic. You're in the wrong place. How well do you know Jackie? That was a good joke. Used to drop by for a round or two. But then, <laughs> tough guy exterior on the crack after numero press. Big dreams in that head. World's already poorer without him. How is Mom Wells holding up? Physically, never better. On her feet from morning to midnight. Guy always practically sparkling. But uh, mentally, it's hard to say. It's not like she keeps it written on her face for all to see. Someone here to see you, looks like. Hmm. Wonder what about. You, River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hun. <laughs> Got a quiet one here. Mind if we step off to the side? Hun and me. We're like one mind. Got no secrets. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. You wanted to talk? For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. 
Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. The catastrophic city of opportunity bill passed 99 to 1 against. I was that one voice of dissent. Do I need to show you what'll happen to this bill if you, the people of Night City, choose me as your mayor? Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because... You got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? Morales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? As I see it, Morales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see his boss first. Guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psycho-muting meds, too. We'd better check it out. Okay. percent of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%? What's it consist of? Writing reports. So who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. Thank you. 
Christine Markov. Know her? Has a stall here. Don't know any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. Christine, Christine Markov. Markov? No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tech over on the other side. Markov? Hmm? No, she's over there. Stall with the tech. Thanks. You Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Petar Horvath. Worked here, apparently? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here? Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Peta, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan, a madam president mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a sunstone. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. It might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. A guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Gentlemen, gentlemen, chill, please. <laughs> Jump, clown! Jump! Let's get this party started! God damn it, V. Told you I'd handle it. Walk in the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? A cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. <laughs> 